hi hello everyone welcome to the channel and today I will show you how to do an image composite in Google Earth Engine so let's get started so now first let us load a, a country's data into Google Earth Engine so that is our that is our international that is large scale international boundary polygon so now I will show you the large scale international boundary polygon so this is an official site for uh, the available uh, large scale international boundary polygon so the data set provider it is the United States of Department of State an office of geographer so in order to input this uh, large scale international boundary polygon into Google Earth Engine we specifically use this code that is double e dot feature collection USDOS that is United States of Department of State and LSIB large scale international boundary polygon simple 2017 so we are uh, we going to use this specifically this code in order to import this large scale international boundary polygon into our Google Earth Engine. So for that I defined a variable called countries equals to double E feature collection United States of Department of State large scale international boundary polygon simple 2017. So in order to import the the boundary polygon of uh, world level uh, boundary polygon we specifically use this code in order to access that. So I've shown you, shown you here the data set provider is the United States Department of State. So next we defined a variable called Thailand. So we are specifically filtering the Thailand, uh, Thailand that is we are defined a variable called Thailand equals to countries dot filter doubly dot filter EQ and country referring to Thailand. So we are from the large scale boundary polygon that is from this large scale boundary polygon we are specifically selecting one particular country that is our Thailand. So next in order to add this layer into our uh, or to display this layer in Google Earth Engine we are using map dot add layer Thailand and uh, these are the visualization parameter that is in order to display the boundary polygon in the required sets of color we use this uh, option called color, color palette and this number that is F03B20 that it is a particular number that is used to refer a particular color. Now let me show you that. So now let me uh, show you that. So this is an site for uh, official site for color brewer where you can able to specify define that is each of the color has its own specific value that is number with the uh, characters that is 2CA25F. So that refers to this green color and similarly uh, the light uh, light green color it refers to 99D8C9 so similarly for other sets of color we use other sets of codes so in order to display with a specific colors palette we are using this particular code and the opacity so we are using specifically we defining the opacity value as 1 and the display as our country Thailand and next is map dot center object Thailand and 10 so in order to uh, set to a correct zoom level and uh, set to a correct zoom level to this particular country we use a map center object so in order to center the layer and with a specific zoom level so we are using map dot center object Thailand and uh, then refers to the zoom level so now uh, let me run this code go to this option called run, run script and click this So now we can able to view that. So we have our layer called Thailand. We are specifically filtered from our large scale international boundary polygon. We have filtered the Thailand. So we can able to view that this is our Thailand boundary uh, boundary layer. So next we are going to uh, load our Sentinel image into our Google Earth engine. So now to load a sentinel image into Google Earth Engine, we have defined a variable called image equals to double e dot image collection. And we are specifically using this uh, code in order to import the sentinel image into Google Earth Engine. So next we are going to filter it by a date that is our uh, temporal filter. So we are specifically a filtering that is our specifically a temporal filtering from 2014 to 2017 so 2014 January 1 and 2017 December 31st 
And next is we are filtering with a specific uh, study area that is we are using Thailand. So filter uh, filter bound refers to that is you are, so that is we are uh, specifically uh, selecting this study area that is our Thailand. And next is uh, we are going to uh, in order to uh, uh, in order to reduce the cloud contamination in our satellite image, we are specifically defined the cloud contamination should be of uh, less than uh, 20. So if uh, we are not uh, specifically defined uh, less than 20 but we define a cloud contamination of 20 percentage. So as a result uh, we uh, will get uh, images that will be a less cloud contamination will be of lesser than 20 percent. And more than that we cannot use it for our work. So we defined a filter w dot filter LTE cloud pixel percentage that is we are referring to our metadata with the cloud contamination that is uh, lesser than 20. So uh, this is nearly a four years of data so it has a, lo a lot of data. So there is also cloud contamination issues that is our atmospheric contamination. So in order to avoid that uh, issues that is the cloud contaminations uh, in the from this large set of data we are using a specifically this technique that is so the what uh, the image composite uh, does is it generates the entire image collection into a single image by using a median uh, statistics. So here we used uh, a median statistics in order to acquire uh, from a large set of data we acquire a single uh, image. So based on the purposes you can also use for maximum, minimum, mean. Uh, here we are using a median. So we are going to run a median algorithm for this. Uh, so what it, uh, it does is it calculates the median value a uh, pixel by pixel from uh, entire images from 2014 to 2017 and uh, will gives us a, gives an image with uh, very less cloud contamination and also uh, acquiring a large set of data a large set of uh, collection into a large set of satellite image into a single image. So now let us define a visualization parameters. So to define a visualization parameter we are using variable called this param equals to a curly bracket open curly bracket bands. We are specifically using band 4, band 3 and band 2 of sentinel image with the maximum value of 2000. And in order to add this layer into Google Earth Engine, so we are using map dot add layer composite dot clip. We are specifically clipping with uh, clipping by our study area Thailand and uh, visualization uh, parameter that is referring here this variable visualization parameters with the output as of a median value composite. That is that is by acquiring a large shift of uh, image collection into a single image using our this algorithm that is our median algorithm and uh, to center our uh, center of our uh, study area with a specific zoom level we define map dot center object Thailand our study area with a zoom level of 6. So now let us run this code. So now let me run this go to the option called run run script. So we are using Sentinel uh, satellite image. So uh, it is a high resolution satellite image. So it takes some time to load. So now we can able to view that. This is our Sentinel 8 image. Sentinel 8 image of our study area, Thailand. So now uh, we have our composite image here. So you can able to view that this, this particular uh, composite image it is free of, free of uh, cloud contamination. So we have done a cloud removal algorithm so we have a completely uh, Cloud, uh, cloudless image and we also uh, second is uh, we are also calculating the median of uh, 
median statistics of uh, of entire image collection so basically what it does is uh, it removes our uh, cloud contaminated uh, images and we get a median uh, statistic out of an entire set of image collection so this particular algorithm what is thus is this this one so image dot median so as uh, using this algorithm we are we have a clear good looking images from entire set of uh, 2000 uh, 2014 to 2017 so it is the large uh, it, it poses it has a large set of data collection so from that we are getting a median value of that particular single satellite image from that large set of collections so in this video i have shown you how to import a large scale international boundary polygon into google earth engine and how to load a sentinel image into uh, google earth engine and how to get a, a single image out of large sets of collection of satellite images so that is we are acquiring a single image from La, a set of satellite image for ranging from 2014 to 2017. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.